This is Todd LeHenry again, and I want to <clears throat> give you um, just a, a little bit more information to uh, back up this idea of home bases and outposts and how we can use Facebook pages and Google Plus and LinkedIn and Pinterest and Twitter and Instagram and all these other great tools to drive people back to our website, but even furthermore, um, how we can do some of these things um, on an automated or semi-automated basis. Okay, now I want to show you um, a couple of uh, simple tools. I'm going to focus on three. Buffer, Google Plus Pages, and Friends Plus Me, and show you how they work together. Okay, now in this particular scenario, I've already configured my Buffer account. I'll show you what that looks like in a moment. But I want to promote this post on my website. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this. And I'm going to say Buffer the Selected Text. And that will invoke Buffer. And it will take the text that I had selected and put it in quotes, give a link back to the content, grab uh, an image, from the post, give the title, give the link again, and give an excerpt. Okay, and then I go ahead and I click share now. Okay, and that post has been sent. Also, one of the things that I can do is um, if I have content that I want to promote, that's not necessarily on my website, I can do the same thing. So I come across a good article in the Huffington Post. I select Buffer Selected Text. And again, it grabs the quote, it grabs the link, it grabs the title, it grabs the link, it grabs an excerpt, and I click Share Now. Now in both of these instances, I'm sending this content to my Google Plus page. And the primary reason for that is that I have a Google Plus page called Bright Shiny Objects, which is geared toward this type of content. So in my editorial focus, I want to share uh, that kind of content. Let me see if I refresh the page, whether or not um, that content has showed up yet. The content that I sent from Buffer. And there it is. Okay. Right here and right here. Okay, and I might want to go in and, you know, and plus one my, you know, my own content. So anyway, I'm grabbing those things and I'm putting them into a page that has the editorial focus for this type of content. And now what I want to show you is kind of like the before and the after and how I set this up. So first of all, Buffer is a tool that allows you to connect social networks, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, AppNet, and Google+. In Twitter, I can connect my Twitter account. Facebook, I can connect a profile, a page, or a group. The same in LinkedIn. In AppNet, I can connect. And in Google+, I can only connect a page. I do not have the ability yet to uh, connect a personal profile. Google has made that kind of thing very difficult. Now, what Buffer does is actually kind of parses out or trickles out content over a predetermined schedule. And up until now, this has been kind of a pain because I had to go in and go into the schedule and I had to manually add content. Okay, now what I can do, thanks to a nifty little uh, application, cloud-based application called BufferTime, and that's at bufferti.me, BufferTime, okay, with a unique URL. And I select that, uh, the, the property or the platform that I want to use, and I say that every 15 minutes between 5 a.m., when I usually become active in the morning, and 9 p.m., I want you to uh, schedule it, and actually I'm going to do every 30 minutes between 5 a.m. and 9 p.m. And I'm going to schedule this. OK, 
Okay, and it says that the schedule was saved successfully. And now I want to confirm with buffer. And I see that my schedule is now 5, 536, 637, 730, etc. And I have changed my posting schedule. Okay, so prior to this little goodie called buffer time, this was actually kind of difficult. Now what happens if I find good content and I select buffer selected text and send it to buffer, then what's going to happen is that that content will wait in a queue until the next time that it's supposed to be sent. And at that time, it will be distributed. Pretty cool, huh? Wait, there's one more really cool tool that I think you should be using. And that's a nifty little uh, tool that I picked up uh, from my friend Brian uh, Clark in Brisbane, Australia. And it's called Friends Plus Me. And Friends Plus Me works with a Google Plus profile or a page, Facebook profile group or page, same with LinkedIn, a Twitter profile, a Tumblr blog, which is kind of interesting, and again, AppNet. And how this works is I go in and I authenticate my accounts, and I say that I want my Bright Shiny Objects Google Plus page to route to two other accounts. I want to send to my Facebook page and to my Twitter profile from my Google Plus page. Okay, so what this allows me to do is to focus on Google Plus, which is going to get me the maximum return on my search engine optimization while not neglecting my Facebook page and my Twitter profile. So what I can do is I can go in and schedule and I can say I want to delay my repost for 15 minutes after I'm done. Furthermore, uh, I can go into accounts and I can go into my Twitter profile. And again, when I'm looking at scheduling, I can say delay every post for 10 minutes. And in my Facebook page, the same thing, scheduling in 10 minutes. And so what this will do then is it will release the content first out to Google Plus and Friends Plus Me will take over and it will also trickle that content out to Facebook, to my Facebook page and my Twitter account. So again, three simple tools. Now one uh, word of caution, the way that I have this configured, I am using the ProVision version, ProVision version, Pro version of Buffer, which costs $10 per month. And I am using the Pro version of Friends Plus Me, which costs a whopping uh, $9 uh, per month. Um, and I think the pricing has actually uh, increased. And I paid a, uh, a flat fee, uh, you know, for a year when this was first starting out. Still well worth the uh, investment in my mind because of all of the work that it does for you. You share content to your Google Plus page, it's automatically shared out to Facebook and Twitter, giving you maximum exposure on these different platforms, and LinkedIn too, if you would like. So if you have any questions or feedback, as always, please contact me, and I would love to talk with you more about how do we apply this to your particular workflow.